Hi there beautiful souls and welcome to the channel and this pick a card reading. I do hope everyone is doing well. We're going to be taking a look today at who is lusting after you, who's got the hots for you, who's crushing on you and what are their secret thoughts and desires with you. We have three options here and this is just going to be a general reading so just take whatever resonates with you. If you do enjoy this reading then please do leave me a like, a comment and subscribe. Um, it really does help my channel to grow and it also um, gives you the chance then to be in with the chance of getting my free reading that I do each month. I offer one subscriber who has commented on one of my videos a free reading at the end of each month. So back to this reading here and it is going to be as I say a, me a message about who is lusting after you, who is having um, desires for you at this time, who is crushing on you. We have option one here for you. We have option two. We have option three here. If you need more time, then please pause the video here. We're also going to be getting some letters and some charms before I do forget to mention that. Um, but if you need more time, yeah, pause the video here and I shall see you at your timestamp. Hi there, group number one and welcome to your reading. Okay, let's have a look who is lusting after you, who's crushing on you. And let's have a look what they're thinking at this time about you. So via tarot, from the sexual magic tarot, we have the Knave of Swords, or the Knight of Swords. We have the Wheel. We have the Six of Wands. And then from the Heart Chakra tarot, no, sorry, the Chakra tarot, we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Knight of Wands. And we also have the King of Cups. We have Worth Waiting for Balance, Spirituality and Practicality with Full Moon in Pisces. We also have Virgo's Energy as well here. So we have a lot of air energy here, we do have fire energy, and we also have some water here as well, so there is quite a mix of um, elements here. But the person who is currently crushing on you or lusting after you is someone who is very passionate about you, somebody who wants um, to feel victorious with you, somebody who perhaps likes to be in control and likes to dominate um, in some kind of way. I also feel this is somebody who has deep feelings for you, this King of Cups, he is somebody who is very emotionally mature and there is that element of um, deep loving feelings there. I also get the feeling this could be somebody who is in and out of your life or perhaps somebody that you are currently in separation from for some of you, especially with this Eight of Cups and the Divine Timing showing up here with this worth waiting for as well. We do have this tower moment, okay, and I feel this person thinks about being reckless with you, about rushing towards you. Um, they also feel about the deep um, sense of passion that you share with this person, or at least in their thoughts, it's very passionate um, indeed. Um, the Eight of Cups, okay, this does tell me perhaps this person is somebody who is a little bit emotional, emotionally um detached is what I'm getting here okay this isn't somebody who expresses their emotions very easily or gets into their feels very easily they are somebody who perhaps expresses their deep loving feelings through the actions of passion I feel this is somebody who definitely wants to be physical with you and they do insight enjoy that side of things and they do definitely enjoy thinking about that with you I, like I say, I do feel this is somebody who kind of wants to take control, who does want to dominate in that area as well. I also get the feeling this is somebody who is quite prideful, so perhaps they haven't told you um, just how much they do think about you in this way for some of you here. But the combination of this tower and this balance in spirituality and practicality, what I'm getting is that this person is trying to find a space of balance between perhaps their heart space and this passion that they feel for you. The rose quote today is about unconditional love and I do feel there is that element of unconditional love but I feel this person is somebody who definitely expresses um, their love in very passionate ways. They could be very flirty energy um, but definitely somebody who I feel they could be a little bit afraid to be vulnerable, which leads them to want to stay in control a lot of the time. But with this tower energy, I do feel that perhaps they are having this awakening that is suggested with this culture. There is a crumbling of the old for this person. I'm also getting the message that perhaps this is somebody who does have that kind of player vibe and there is a shift in their energy. They are maturing emotionally is what I feel here. 
with this work waiting for like i say divine timing is playing a part so perhaps you do know who this person is perhaps you do see this person as um somebody who is worth waiting for i'm also getting the message okay that this person could be admiring you balancing things out in your life right now and taking control of your own life perhaps you have yourself been withdrawing from things that no longer serve you and you are yourself and say taking control of your life and bringing something into balance and they understand that this is a process for you and they um, feel it is worth waiting for you we do have the virgos energy so virgo could be very significant for some of you here and this is all about light in the light attributes at least <clears throat> it's about loyalty and this person could be very analytical hard working and practical okay let's get some more cards here for you i actually want to get a clarification for this wheel with this wheel as well being here okay do feel perhaps this person does fantasize about um being outside with you and being passionate i also feel that this person is somebody who um just gets that kind of feeling of ecstasy um when they are with you if you haven't been physical with this person if you haven't been intimate with them then they definitely fantasize about that and they think it would be absolutely incredible and just being around you kind of gives them that impression as i say if you haven't already been intimate with them but for those of you who have they can continuously think about that is what i'm getting and it's like a high that they've never experienced anywhere else we have the eight of pentacles here to clarify that wheel i feel this person is working on <coughs> and a change of perspective here they are working very hard is what i get here on themselves i also feel that you are currently working on yourself like i say this balance spirituality and practicality is making me feel about inner healing work pisces energy could be significant here and perhaps this full moon that has recently occurred here has been significant in regards to that for you perhaps it has brought about some sort of tower moment here and you're suddenly feeling in a a place of clarity okay i feel this person really admires your hard work as well i don't feel this is just somebody who um is crushing on you or lusts after you i think, think they are someone who genuinely admires the hard work and effort that you put into your life is what i'm getting here i also get the message okay this person wants to please you they um want to put a lot of time and effort into making sure that you experience pleasure um, when you are intimate with them with the two of pentacles i feel this person is someone who has a lot going on and we do have this balance here that is occurring and what i feel is your person okay could have in the past i am being drawn back to this wheel card okay and there are three um feminines in this particular image and um, perhaps in the past okay this person has put you in a third party situation for some of you or there has been um a juggling going on or perhaps this person does actually have that fantasy of being with you and another at the same time but what i'm also getting here okay is, is again it's about that balance and that infinity sign there i do feel this could be somebody who's been back and forth in your life who is seeking balance well speaking of balance the other card that jumped out for you is actually just this here the scales are coming into balance libra's energy could be significant here as well I do feel this person is going to kind of reveal their um, thoughts and feelings to you. Perhaps this person is going to come through with some sort of flirty message. Um, I also feel here, okay, perhaps some of you, you are married to this person or you have been married to this person. But I feel it's more about a karmic cycle as well for some of you here. There is a closing of an old cycle with this tower here where it's worth waiting for is what I'm getting. Um, and justice is being served. I actually want one more card for you. We have the Page of Cups. So I do feel this person is somebody who perhaps um, is quite quite shy when it comes to their emotions is one message I'm getting here, okay? And um, the other message, definitely strong Pisces energy here as well now with this page of cups. This could be somebody who owes you an apology as well. Um, this is somebody who wants to speak up about their feelings for you. But like I was saying earlier, I feel they'll do it in more of a passionate way and kind of play down um their emotions it would be sort of little in the emotion but more about the passion we do at the bottom of the deck have the knight of swords here for you this person definitely wants to rush towards you the knave of swords is here and again this is um this guy is pleasuring this lady and i feel that this person uh, male or female they want to put a lot of effort into that with you they fantasize about pleasing you but definitely wanting to rush towards you make some sort of communication and even an apology might be in order for some of you here 
Okay, now we're going to get your words before we get your letters and your charms. So let's get some words out for group number one, please. Who is lusting after you? Who's crushing on you? And what are they thinking at this time? Get a couple more for you. Okay, we have here for number six or number nine, that could be significant for some of you. We have grounding, which is quite interesting that this balance, spirituality and practicality is coming in. And I do feel that you know, things maybe have been very turbulent or up in the air. Then we have it followed by this Virgo's energy, this earth energy here, this practical energy. We have, wow, tower moment. So not only do we have the tower card, okay, we actually have it written here as well. You have experienced tower moments with this person, or this person has had some sort of tower moment here, which has caused some sort of awakening. What I mean by a tower moment, perhaps everything seemed just fine, everything sort of fell to the ground suddenly for you. Or there's been some sort of information that's come to you, or a spiritual awakening that could be occurring at this time. We do have distance here, so perhaps you and this person are at a distance, physical or emotional distance here. We have self-love. I feel these tower moments has encouraged moments of self-love, okay? Um, perhaps, that, like I say, this person is somebody who definitely in the past there was that kind of player vibe about this person, someone who kept it surface level at least, um, and they are learning to love themselves more um, and honour themselves more, their body and their mind and their heart and their, who they focus on, where their focus lies. We also have heat, so definitely a lot of passion from this person. We have handsome and we have love, beautiful. So it's not just passion, there is love here as well. So let's get some letters for you now. Get some letters for group number one, please. Okay, get a couple more. Okay, we have a C, we have an R, we have an L, we have a W, a B, a Z, a P, a V, and another C. So those letters could mean something to you. And let's also get now your charms. So let's get some charms for group number one, please. Who is lusting after them? And who is crushing on them? And what are their thoughts and feelings? We have the music symbols here. So the music could be very significant to you or this person. We do have the crossbones key here. So perhaps this person, like I was saying, self-love come out earlier and I do pick up this energy of this person's had some sort of realisation or some sort of awakening here. This person could be something um, of a player. There could have been that. Not so pleasant energy from this person, um, but I feel that you kind of open something up within them because we do have the lock here with this heart and we also have this key here. I feel your person could be transitioning, this person who is thinking about you a lot. We do have the hummingbird here. I feel this person wants to communicate with you. I also get the freedom as well whenever birds show up for me. We have the cat here. So cats could be significant to you. But this cat is actually just chilling. Um, perhaps this person right now is going through a time where they are relaxing and yeah, balancing the spirituality and practicality. We do have the leaf here, which symbolizes change for me. We also have um, another leaf here. So definitely change for the both of you, I feel, um, for many of you here. We also have this hand here, I can't remember the name of it, do let me know in the comments below if um, you do, but it's about protection. And we also have angels are watching over you. For many of you, this could be a spiritual connection, okay, you know this person is part of your soul tribe is what I'm guessing here. Um, but definitely the person who is lusting and crushing after you um, is possibly an ex here, somebody who's been in the edge of your life for many of you here. Some of them are divine timing is playing a part here, where there has been significant changes for you and your person as a result of your connection. This is somebody who not only lusts after you, they do actually have deep feelings for you as well, but maybe they haven't fully expressed that to you. Um, I do feel this is somebody who likes to stay in control and they could, uh, they really put a lot of time and thought into thinking about pleasuring and pleasing you um, physically and emotionally is what I have for you group number one. So if you have found this reading at all helpful, please do let me know in the comments and leave me a like. I would really appreciate that. 
and if you did want to subscribe i would really appreciate that as well i shall see you all in another reading have a lovely day everyone take care bye hi there growth number two and welcome to your reading okay let's have a look who is crushing on you who is lusting after you and what are they thinking at this time we have a lot of fire energy here for you we have leo's energy very strongly we also have aries energy here for you as well we do have pisces and cancer coming through here as well as virgo energy um, but it doesn't really matter sun moon rising or venus um, this could just be the energy that they are embodying at this time what i actually have for you we have the king of cups we have the emperor we have the ten of cups that is actually being um, clarified by the high priestess the ten of cups and the five of pentacles the ten of cups has shown up twice here in the space of six cards really incredible energy this is not just somebody who is crushing at to you and um, as much as they have these passionate desires for you this is somebody who sees you as the full 10 cups they see you as their wish fulfillment their emotional fulfillment they definitely see the potential with you um, for emotional stability emotional growth perhaps the whole family life the long term is what i get here However, what I feel, okay, is that this person could be struggling with self-esteem and this is why they've not expressed this to you. Or perhaps this person is somebody who does definitely express themselves in very passionate ways with all this fire energy here and doesn't really reveal too much about the intensity of their emotional feelings to you. This high priestess is making me feel that way that perhaps this person either hasn't said anything at all or as i say they are playing it down and keeping it above the surface level or making it um very passionate communication between two of you for some of you okay this five of pentacles well it could speak about how this person doesn't really feel um that they have enough to offer you that they they see you as um well as the high priestess here okay and what i'm getting here is they see your strengths as well they really admire who you are and this person could be feeling that maybe they're not quite on that level and this is another reason why they might keep this to themselves keep this hidden and secret for others of you okay this could be somebody who is in another connection or another relationship or perhaps it's another situation that keeps them away from you it doesn't have to be another person although it could be and that is why this has to remain secret and they can't express these passionate and loving feelings that they have for you we do have a new moon in Virgo, so the new moon time could be significant for some of you here. It also says a time to give rather than take. The Romance Angel card that has come out for you is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And what I'm getting here, okay, is for some of you, like I was saying, this is somebody who actually has very deep emotional feelings for you. However, they have played those down in some kind of way or they've made it very passionate and not really um, allowed for you to see their true feelings the emperor is somebody who can be a little bit guarded who isn't one to reveal himself fully um very easily at least and the king of cups as much as the king of cups is about these deep emotions doesn't always reveal them and it is being clarified by the high priestess which is about secrets things that are unspoken unsaid at this time I'm getting as much loving energy here as I am passionate energy. I feel this is somebody who, who not only fantasizes about being passionate with you, about I feel this person is somebody who wants to hug you, who wants to cuddle you, who wants to kiss and embrace you. I also get the message here, okay, this is somebody who just likes and enjoys being in your company. I feel that they this ten of cups showing up twice here. Um, I do feel that, you know, they see you as the full 10 and the full package is what I'm getting here. And like I say, I feel this person is somebody who is very passionate about you, but there is also this soft and nurturing side. And I feel this person right now is actually more focused on that side of things. But they could come across as quite, as if they're only interested in one thing for some of you here is what I'm getting. I also feel, okay, this definitely this five of pentacles and the strength card coming up here this person is somebody who is seeking that inner strength to have the confidence okay this person i'm also being drawn okay to the shadow attributes on this leo card where it does say about arrogance i do feel perhaps in the past or right now this person is somebody who 
sort of and it's fake and it's something they make it is what I'm hearing okay so they're over um confident in public okay because they lack their self-esteem and confidence in reality they admire your inner strength so much though because it inspires them I also get this person is you know a warm-hearted person there's someone you can have a lot of fun with as well with this pay attention to the red flags okay I do feel you know for some of you this person could and say be in another connection and there is that you know caution there but you already know about the situation it's not something you know you're finding out here for the first time but what I'm also getting here okay is this person didn't pay attention okay didn't recognize what they had for some of you here okay perhaps before it was too late or they've just not revealed this to you and they're realizing if they don't reveal it soon time could be running out is what i'm hearing here okay so now we're going to get some words out for you and some letters and some charms as well so who is thinking and desiring and crushing on group number two and what are their thoughts at this time please so we have here for you well we have new beginning this could be somebody that you've recently met or somebody that wants this new beginning with you we have the heart chakra here so like i was saying as much as this person is very very lustful over you they're actually in their heart space for you more is what i'm picking up here and it says heart chakra i forgive i choose to love and my heart is wide open beautiful and like i was saying this is somebody who perhaps hasn't expressed their full feelings to you is gaining confidence and self-esteem at this time to reveal something okay so right now not everything has been revealed to you i don't feel they've expressed the depth of their feelings for you but i feel that they will we have faith yeah keep faith in this connection if you do know who this person is keep faith that this type of connection is coming towards you the ten of cups twice here it's quite incredible we have illusions so perhaps this person has been stuck in illusions you know this illusion of not being enough for some of you okay we also have for you intuition high priestess suggests that you are very intuitive okay trust in your intuition i feel this person is learning to trust in their intuition we actually have the blank um little card here and it's blue so i feel this person is going to speak their truth without any um any boundaries any barriers they're just gonna let it out is what i really feel here okay so now what we also have for you sorry smart this person is very smart and sees you as very smart like i was saying about your inner strength they really admire you i feel that you're somebody who's very emotionally and um emotionally intelligent then is what i'm getting here let's get some letters now for group number two who is lasting after them who's crushing on them so let's have a look we have an M for you, we have a Q, we also have a Z and a V, we have an L, we have another V, let's get a couple more for you, we have another M, we have a P and another L. So we do have repeating letters here, so perhaps you are noticing synchronised numbers or perhaps you are noticing um, synchronised letters or just synchronicities in general and going back to this pay attention to the signs here how i do feel your person is getting signs all the time to break free of whatever is keeping them back this low self-esteem and actually let you know how they feel because um i feel this is quite mutual that you feel this kind of cuts and potential with this person too let's get some charms for you now who is lasting after you who is crushing on you at this time and what are their thoughts beautiful we have a tree of life here opportunity and growth is what i'm getting here as well it could be an earth sign you're dealing but grounding energy things coming into reality we have the lovely seahorse here and the seahorse the male seahorse kind of looks after the babies i feel this is very nurturing energy being by the sea as well could be significant we do have the tower here so you could have experienced tower moments with this person or perhaps paris is significant for some of you here we have the spoon what i'm getting here okay is that it's almost like um, this person is being spoon fed information through their intuition from source um about which direction to go in perhaps this person has experienced lots of tower moments or a recent awakening or a tower moment here where things are just sort of crashed to the ground so they can rebuild but slowly slowly is what i'm getting we do have this little key here 
We also have the candy king, so Christmas or candy in general could be significant to you. We have the fish bones here. So again, Pisces could be significant here. But what I'm getting is things feel this five of pentacles, five of coins. It's all about that kind of cold feeling. And I feel this person does feel cold when they are not in your warm energy, this lusty and loving energy here. We do have the horse here, so perhaps the year of the horse is significant for some of you here are horses. Um, but I'm also getting this person wants to rush towards you. However, they are at some sort of a crossroads right now, um, trying to listen to their intuition, as they say, to find their way. We also have the corn here as well, so sweet corn. Um, time of the harvest, I'm getting this significant here as well. And I'm also getting the message that you're sweet okay this person finds you extremely sweet extremely um attractive and they definitely have very lusty feelings for you but they also have deep loving feelings that perhaps they haven't expressed for you at this time group too so that is what i have for you i do hope this reading has helped or been been helpful in some kind of way for you if you would like to leave me a like a share subscribe it would really help me along and i'd really appreciate it um i hope you all have a wonderful day and i shall see you all in another reading soon Take care, everyone. Bye. Hi there, group three, and welcome to your reading. So who is crushing on you? Who is lusting after you? And what are their thoughts at this time? I do hope everyone is well, and I'm really excited to be doing this reading for you. Let's have a look, shall we? We have the death card for you. We also have the two of pentacles. We have the devil's energy. We have the temperance. Six of Swords and the Ace of Cups. I'm actually really loving this for you. I feel this person who is crushing on you, lusting after you, okay, somebody who has deep, deep um, passion for you, okay, this devil's energy. I do feel this is somebody who is constantly thinking about you, obsessing about you, even for some of you here. This is somebody who who is really, really, really attracted to you and somebody who does have very lustful thoughts about you. I also get the message here, okay, that um, perhaps this is somebody with a death energy here that has, there has been an ending with or there has been a significant change with is what I'm feeling. I do like, okay, that the devil energy, we've also got the temperance energy. I feel this is somebody, okay, as well as this two of pentacles. It's making me pick up on this person's quite balanced is what I get, okay. This is somebody who is deeply, passionately, um, passionate about you. But they're also somebody who is bringing about balance and does have really pure intentions towards you, loving feelings, as well as what I get with this Ace of Cups. I also get the message, okay, for some of you here, this is somebody who has resisted the depth of their feelings for you, the depth of the passion that they feel towards you, and might have even cut you off or tried to move in a different direction. This is somebody who, who could have been balancing a little bit too much, juggling a little too much, okay, trying to find that element of balance. I also feel this is somebody who perhaps you didn't expect to have these feelings for you and um, perhaps you didn't expect to see this devilish side of them is what I'm getting here okay this very lustful side of this person perhaps this is somebody who on outwardly you wouldn't realize how passionate they could be somebody who surprised you in that element is what I'm getting for some of you here Scorpio's energy is significant here for some of you perhaps, or um, Capricorn's energy. We have very strong Taurus energy as well as Sagittarius energy as well. Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. With this Ace of Cups, okay, and this very soon here, I do feel that you are either going to meet this person soon, okay, and they, this is sort of their future um, feelings for you, this intensity, okay, but for many of you, um, you already know who this person is, and very soon they are going to be making you some sort of a new offer here. I'm also getting the message, okay, this is somebody who, for some of you, okay, there could have been some codependent issues here, there could have been um, some addictions, be it to a mindset, a work lifestyle, be it to substances, okay, um, I feel this person's been very resistant then, okay, um, to come forward towards you for some sort of reason. They're also going through some sort of a rebirth here with this judgment. And I feel this is somebody who wants a rebirth of your connection with them. I feel for many of you, okay, this is somebody you have dealt with in the past. 
It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Now I feel this person is trying to manifest you as well. This um, obsessive thinking of theirs, okay, whether they realise it or not, is actually manifesting you um, into their life. They also want to move things away from some choppy waters, okay, into calmer seas. I feel this person wants to protect you as well. And I'm actually hearing the message, okay, for some of you, they actually took a step back to protect you from themselves because they were kind of caught up in some sort of not very healthy mindset or um, some sort of psycho here, okay? So they have to take a step back to find some sort of balance. I feel this person, okay, isn't just somebody who's lusting after you in a sexual way um, and desiring you, okay? I feel this is somebody who is thinking about some sort of healing that might need to occur between the two of you as well. I do feel there is an element of remorse or something going on here as well. We also have prosperity lies ahead. This person does, um, for some of them, okay, I feel that they could be very focused right now on prosperity, on their jobs right now, okay, on the practical side of life, especially with this Taurus energy showing up. The date's April 20th through to May 20th could be significant for some of you here as well. I'm also getting, okay, that, you know, this person feels like they're in paradise with you. This Six of Swords is giving me that energy. Um, and I'm also hearing that um, I've been locked out of heaven as well. You make me feel like I've been locked out of heaven. I think it's Bruno Mars. Um, I shall try and remember to link that in the description box, which I rarely do. So if I do forget, please feel free to remind me. Okay, let's have a look now with some letters. Who is this person? Sorry, so we're going to get some words for you, first of all. Who is this person who is lusting after you, crushing on you? And what are their thoughts at this time? So let's have a look. We have for you, we have balance. That beautiful temperance energy, okay, can speak about balance. It also speaks about patience and like I say, I feel this person could be kind of coming out to some sort of unhealthy cycle that they felt they needed to move away from you from to protect you from some of them. I also get the message, okay, that they could be um, very, very protective and some might have even shown this in some possessive type of ways as well, but they are finding balance in that is what I'm getting. We also have air, so you could be dealing with an air sign. Things could be very up in the air for this person at this time. We have lust, so this person is definitely lusting after you. We have fairness, which is lovely. Again, that blending of the masculine feminine energies, that healing of the temperance energy is calling to me here. This person wants things to be fair. I do feel, okay, this person does have good intentions. Even if in the past, okay, this person has been somebody who has not been their best version of themselves okay what i feel is that they they now have pure intentions we have supportive they find you very supportive and this is a supportive person we have wish you're a wish come true to this person and perhaps you are wishing for this person yourself this very soon it can speak about manifestation you know clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now and i feel perhaps you and this person trying to manifest each other for a new beginning Beautiful, with that ace of cups and that new beginning there. And there is hope. This isn't just about lust and um, desire. There is hope here as well. I feel that perhaps you brought this person back to life with this rebirth, this energy here. Perhaps you've triggered something in this person for them to suddenly want more out of life than they've ever given to themselves before. And I feel that they want to give you more than you've ever experienced from them, certainly. And just in life in general, they want something very special and healing with you. Now let's get some letters for you. Who is this person who is thinking about you, lusting after you, crushing on you at this time? So we have a D, we have a C, we have a W, an L, a Q, an R, a Z, a V, and we also have an E for you. So those letters could mean something to some of you here. Okay, now let's get your charm. Who is listening after you and what are their thoughts at this time? Okay, don't. We have the tree of life. This person wants to grow with you. 
it's also about that connection is what i'm feeling here your person is feeling more of a connection to source the transition from devil energy into the temperance energy allowing for divine healing and yeah more connection to everything and everyone this person could have been quite detached in the past is another message i get here we have angels are watching over you perhaps a divine connection do have that temperance and say these angels guiding you and protecting you <clears throat> and this person at this time excuse me we do have the flamingo here we also have for you two spoons so i feel I was getting this in group two when the spoon come out. It's like kind of being um, spoon fed information and spoon fed um, love as well. Perhaps this person was a little bit reluctant to accept love into their life in the past, is what I'm feeling here. Um, so softly, softly. I'm also feeling perhaps this person could be a cook or enjoy cooking or enjoy just eating and enjoying your company as they do so. We also have the elephant here, which is about learning from past mistakes. It's also about good luck. We do have the cane here. We have the little tiny heart. We have the key. You have the key to this person's heart. It's not just lust here. We have the sweet corn. We do have the Aussie and I. We have the bow here. And we also have what actually is a leaf, but it actually looks like a cannabis leaf, so that could be significant to some of you here as well. But it's about healing, it's a plant of healing, the cannabis leaf. Um, and there's been protected and divinely guided. I feel this person is somebody who has learned a lot of lessons, somebody who wants to learn and explore new things with you um, in everyday life as well as passionately as well, group three. So that is what I have for you. That's who's lusting after you and who's crushing on you at this time. It is somebody who is probably going to make some sort of move towards you soon. Somebody who wants a rebirth or a start with you. Somebody who is moving from a shadow version of themselves into a lighter version of themselves with temperance energy here. Someone who wants a new start and sees you as kind of like their promise uh, land group number three. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe if you did enjoy this reading and I shall speak to you all soon. Take care everyone. Bye.